North Texas is preparing for a once in a lifetime experience. Oh, I'm ecstatic. Um, I teach fourth grade during the day and I've been talking to my students about this for months now and kind of been building the anticipation. Close to half a million visitors are expected to travel to DFW to witness an astronomical phenomenon. Jesper Busk and his son Storm came all the way from Denmark to Dallas, the largest metropolitan area in the path of totality. It will be their first time witnessing a total solar eclipse. Road travel is expected to increase by 30% Sunday into Monday. Hotels and Airbnbs are sold out across the Metroplex. Dallas police have blocked off road exits leading into downtown along I-35E, Woodall Rogers, Central Expressway, I-45 and I-30. It's like one of those things where you want to be as prepared as you can, but I mean, it's only a span of four minutes, I think three or four minutes of totality, and it's going to be really disappointing if it gets covered up by some clouds. <laughs> it's a weather situation that could affect the path of totality across the Lone Star State, an area that encompasses the entire I-35 corridor from Travis to Collin counties. Things don't really seem to clear up until you reach northeast Arkansas. That's about a 400 mile hike from North Texas and a six to seven hour drive. You'll also be paying more at the pump as gas prices are sitting above average at about $3.40 for a gallon of regular. Would you make the trip if you could go? Back? I don't think I would just because it's such a big investment for a couple of minutes, but I don't know, maybe if I had the time and the money to dish out like that, I probably would. In Dallas, I'm Stacia Wilson. And if you are planning to watch this from home, y'all, we've got you covered. We've got a two hour special on the solar eclipse with live shots across our Texas path of totality. Coverage begins at noon on Monday on WFAA plus and then at 1:30, we will be carrying the eclipse live on WFAA.